Beefy they, boys. Uh, yeah, beefy boys, but then again, you're also up against a carry, so that's kind of like, yeah, yeah, but you still need a beefy boy, nevertheless, right? But maybe the idea is like, we need to find something to try to catch the carry, but carry is also well protected. Thanks to Cho, thanks to the Ruby as well. I mean, you can just play around the Nightmare spawn if you want to, and you get yeah. a guaranteed way to like kite backwards unless they're forced to use a battle spell. But with that being said, let's wrap this up here. Let's see the summary of both of these compositions as they start making their way into the land of Dawn. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the first match. Best of three series between... He's got a decent EXP lead. Oh, oh here we go. Got him on the cards, but then he's the PC boy. That's not the target that they want. Looks like Keyboy tries to go in for the back line, and now the Dakota's welcome will stop him from coming through. But Keyboy, 50% of health down, not gonna be a big issue for him. Keyboy can still engage if he want to. Lutpi, also 50% of health. He is at level 4 though, so there you go. That is the pickup that they're looking for. First one onto all easy. Yep, in the earlier stages of the game, as much as Swelo wants to make a play here, it's a little tough to do so. He doesn't have the raw damage just yet, but that poke is so good. He's running out of mana though, and I think that's something he's got to continuously so, because Audi TZ, he's great. Oh! Oh, here we go. On the middle. Look who got caught. It's going to be real. Not able to fly away with the steel cables. Man, uh, Real goes, you're expecting to see Keyboy oh. scout for him. Oh, well, the moment you mentioned about Keyboy, he went all in, found his target, and it's gonna be CW to secure that kill. Whether you attack, it doesn't matter. Keyboy sees you, you go down. He's good. Not he's just late, right? Cars. He's a little late to the majority of these. Oh, hold oh. on. Okay, probably somebody got caught there. Okay, here we go. Coming in, Audi TZ will be the one to get the kill on the Keyboy, but from the back. Matt will need to run away to safety. Sans will take out Rio instead. A little bit of a trade there to make sure that Matt stays alive. And that is something that they need to continue to do. Yeah. Assuming uh, uh, that Rio gets his purple. Oh, but he, as usual, Keyboard will get his target. It doesn't matter whether you're a tank. Cars will be the next one to fall. Sans will be the one to secure that to kill. And oh. they're looking for right now. Oh, TZ. Where is he gonna go right here? Rio tries to get the skill cables in, but then again, not enough damage. He knows that he cannot tank it out as well. He has to let this one go. And the, be and the worst part about this is that Zask is really good at CG. Oh, Gars is in trouble. The Whitney Chain on the Gars and CW is gonna be the one to get that one kill. Definitely the tank shredder. That is the one. That is that hero that is playing its role. And at the same time, they will get the turret. They will make a clean up at the top. Yep, and they they just walk away. They're like, we don't need to fight anymore. You can have the Lord. It's done what we need. We're setting up for checkmate angle. We're building so esports, finding out the challenge. Are they easy? He does oh. have the implosion though. Right now, he will try to go away, but Kasko is down the moment he uses it. Dakota, welcome. Lutfi will be the next one to fall thanks to Suelo. One each for each side. But then again, for Rebellion esports, they lost the inhibitor turret, so. It's a bit of an advantage to Fnatic on it. No, but they're not done just yet. Rio can quickly use those steel cables to get in and out of fights, but it's scary when Keyboy still has the way of the dragon. He does not want to fall just yet. It may be an 8-3 to three score, but there is still pride left in the Rebellion Esports lineup with no... Most of the time. I know, it's so big of an ass, it's like asking Juros to dance. <laughs> but right now, Lord is in. This is the moment your cars flickers away, but not able to get away to safety. Kairi will be the one to take him down. And now it's going to be quite a mess here. Tries to go in for the back left, but Rebellion Esports not able to get anything out of this. And big dominance here for Fnatic Onyx as they secure game number one. That just started to look like power overwhelming for Fnatic Onyx taking this game 1-0 against Rebellion Esports. The series is not done yet, but let's once again invite back Churros. What do you think about that game? How did it go for you? Man, where do I start? It's a very dominating performance by Fnatic, Fnatic Onyx. Uh, yep. Novara, you still want to keep your distance uh, among the uh, players from Fnatic. Uh, and also, you want to kind of like open up the uh, the map as well, just to give that vision so that uh, Rio will be able to like go towards certain areas or even find the back line and try to take him out. Yeah, I, I think that unfortunately for Fnatic Onyx, they're not going to have as much control over the mid lane as they did in game number one. This time, it's going to really change things up. But thanks again, Churros. We're going to be making our way into the land of Dawn. Not been for Keyboy as well as Kyrie being that aggressive. Oh. But speaking about aggressive, Rio comes in from the back to be a bit aggressive. Oh. And Keyboy still survives. Oh my goodness, Does he Keyboy not die? and CW survives as well. Man, okay, Kyrie maybe not. He will definitely oh. go up. But before oh. that, whoa! 
Are you kidding me, Gary? What is that move? And with that, he gets the first blood, and he's not do done it again. yet. Do he's it again. Done. Okay, okay. Rio comes in. He will not be able to do that again. I mean, Matt is there to finish him off. Yeah, yep. the yep. map. They're just holding Ooh. him hostage. So Rebellion responds. Oh, well touch. Straight onto the back line. Onto Keyboy. Keyboy will be the first one to fall. It doesn't matter whether he's a tank. They will still take him out. Great play coming in for Rebellion Esports. A countermeasure on the opposite. Oh. It's not done, though. Oh. oh. Oh, nice one on the DZ, but then again, he should be able to survive this, or maybe not. Sans will make sure that he will not get away. So a tank for a tank. <laughs> like, I'm taking, I don't need any dates right now. Uh, I, I'd like to keep my space, thank you very what much. The but there Ooh. is Rio dying off again. Sans, really good play there as well. Able to pull him back. Without that energy, and especially losing on that purple buff, he is yeah, able to steal away this purple buff and able to take out open hang that thought for a second because at the back line we can see initiation happening where Kyrie gets the first kill on the cars and they're looking for a second one on the easy but on the easy still a-okay underneath the turret this one gameplay by Fnatic Onyx, but this is what they're trying to do. Independent laner, as we like mm. to call him, right? Doesn't Economist. Need... Economist. He doesn't need your parents' money. Keep it. <laughs> At this point, he's making a business of his own. Oh, wait. Oh, but we are making a business of his own cars. Yep, this is CW. Now he is online. Even worse for them, right? Because despite the cross-map play... Oh. Oh. Check out the back line now, Sans. 50% of health left, but Sans needs to get away to safety. And they might get their next target, which is Matt. Matt, oh, there you go. All the way underneath the tire. It's not going to be a problem there for Fnatic on it to secure that kill onto Matt. Audi TZ got away with a little help. Yeah, Chewe is just, he does too much damage at this point. I'm guessing he's done with the Trinity build. Let me double check. Yep, he's done with the Trinity build. He's online, and that's going to be an inhibitor if they don't do spirit destruction on the bot side. He gets solo killed by oh, Chewe. Wait, what? Okay. Man, that just happened. And. This is what we were talking about, like, okay, Chewe, right now, he has skipped to the point that he can go for a solo kill against Matt. It is scary. I don't know. I think this next Lord push, unless we see Rebellion Esports get a full team wipe on Fnatic Onic, or at least an equal trade, like four people go down on both sides, I think this game is pretty much done for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are talking about Chewe, the FMVP of MPID as well. And uh, like what you say, it's probably just a matter of time right now. The Lord is almost on its way and Fnatic Audit, they're managing the wave really well, playing the patience game. Yeah, they're waiting for somebody to overextend here, but Sans is on the other side. I think they need Sans continuously on each side just to make sure that if they can punish anybody and zone them out, they don't have much to do because Swelo is their only high ground defense. Yeah, here we go. He has arrived though. So first, oh, the Thunder Inventor will go down, but then again at the back line. Looks like they have a trip between each other. Look, he will go down together with Rio. But Sans will get a mega kill. Chewe coming in with a kill spray. And definitely, this is game time here for Fnatic on it. This game ends at 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, that's a fast one. I thought that initiation might have been a blunder as Lupti misses the onwards after landing an important earth shatter. Thank goodness the rest of Fnatic Onik was able to compensate for that. Great stuff coming in from Chewe. Churros, come back on the broadcast here. What do you think about this game? That last team fight, just want to build on your point, that was a four-man wild charge. Very, very good stuff. It was just purifies. Yep. Chewe got out of there.